Hi, welcome to my second part of my video tutorial. In the first part I showed you text macros. In the second part I'm going to show you macro recorder. I'm still currently in Dragon Naturally Speaking Professional. And the first thing we need to do is actually create the command. I want you to go to the top tools on the Dragon Bar and select add new command. First we need to decide what command we're going to create. So this is the command we're going to say to create the actions we're going to use with the macro recorder. So let's put a command in. I'm going to put in my command and then we can give that a description. Now I could call it fonts with font size changed with a certain color or any description I want depending on what I do. You can choose user defined so when you access your command browser commands it will be in that category also choose whether it's global which again will work everywhere application specific will work in only one program or windows specific ok I always leave it on global because I like to use that everywhere then go down to command type and then drop down menu this time we're going to choose macro recorder and we're almost ready to go when I click this recall button, we've got to choose what actions we are going to complete. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to press the recall button. To the bottom left hand corner, the recorder is now working. So I can now change options to whatever application I open up. So I'm changing the font, font size. Actually, I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to go to the test and I'm also center that. Actually while I'm there why not underline it as well. So now I'm going to stop recording the command and I'm now going to close that window bottom left and you can see that your command editor automatically opens up with all the commands and the movements. So now what I can do is actually be careful what you do but you can actually go through some of these mouse moves and delete what you don't want to make the script smaller and faster. Okay but what I'm going to do for the moment, I'm not going to delete anything, I'm just going to save it. So when I save the command, when I say my command, it should work what I've just shown you in that Word document. So click save. Open up a new Word document. Make sure it's all back to default, yes, and we'll try it out. My command. And there you go. Simple. It's not as efficient as using advanced scripting or step by step where you use key prompts. But it could still work and create a purpose of creating certain tasks. Thanks for watching. Learning made easy.